Hello my WP Globers and welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial we will learn how to create call to action button with the help of Elementor. So guys, if you are interested, let's start our tutorial. So guys, first I will select a structure. So let's go with the first one. Then here under the elements section we have our button option so we need to drag our button to our structure and this is how it will look this is how our button looks then we have a button type so we can select our button type it can be default info success warning or danger so uh, when i'm clicking on our types uh, the button changes its color as you can see so i will go with default here uh, we can type our text so what we want to be written on our button ours will be call to action okay then here we need to put a link so uh, where we want to our button to take us so here we can put a link then we have alignment so whether you want your button to be on the center maybe on the left side or on the right side so i will go with the center one and here we have button size small medium large or extra large so this is how our large looks but i think i will go with medium it looks good uh, so then we have icon button so if you have cvg you can uh, add upload your cvg but if you don't have it you can just uh, upload like icon from our library so i will go with this arrow then we have icon position so whether you want to uh, be it before your text or after your text so i think before was the good one and we have icon spacing so when your icon is near to your text you can just change it here we have also style button uh, and here we have typography here we can change our uh, uh, typography we can change our uh, text size weight transform style and stuff like that here we have also text shadow we can add shadow to our text here we have two tabs normal and hover under the normal tab we have text color background type and color so we can just uh, simply change them and we have here hover we also have here text color background time and color or so we have border color so we can just simply change them for example like this and when we will keep our mouse on it it will change its color so and then we have here a uh, hover animation so whether when you put your mouse on your button you want it to grow shrink or fold so let's go with grow this is how it will look we have border type so whether you want it to be default solid double i will go with default and i have box shadow so if you want to add a shadow to your box this is how our button with the shadow will look and this is how uh, we can create a call to action button with the help of Elementor. So guys, this was it. I hope you liked the video. If you will have any questions concerning to our video, you are free to ask them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. See you soon.